floss tube. Welcome. This is Bonnie with Curly Girl Crafter. I'm in Colorado and thank you so much for spending some time with me today and coming back if you're coming back or if you're new thank you for coming. If you, this is a, some kind of content channel that you like to watch please subs subscribe and like and all the things it really helps uh, youtubers out to decide you know what what people like and what people don't like so please subscribe love it thank you everyone for coming and supporting me um, here on YouTube and my Etsy shop as well I've had a lot of people go there and it's been great fall is coming the nights are getting cooler so that's exciting I love that the geese are flying you can hear them squawking the dogs thinks he's gonna jump off off the yard and grab geese out of the sky I guess but when that starts happening we know that fall is is coming um I can't remember if it was last video or the video before I asked people to let me know how many stitchy friends they have not counting floss tube or YouTube and um Apollo I'm so sorry um and so it was really interesting people's response. Most people don't know beyond like two, three or four people that actually cross stitch beyond floss tube. There were a couple exceptions of people that said, oh, I have tons of stitchy friends. I've been stitching for 50 years. And um, one lady's like, I'm 80. I, I, you know, have a couple friends that stitch. And, but most people only had a couple people that they knew. So th that was really interesting. So I guess I'm pretty much in the norm, just like a lot of people. Um, okay, let's get in. I have lots of cross stitching to share, uh, a, couple, a couple starts, uh, a finish, which I'm pretty excited about. And uh, I have some, I have a previous wool finish to share, a little bit of haul for everything. And I have a quilt finished and then I have a previous finish to share with you on that and some plans for quilting as well and a little bit of quilting haul as well. So I have lots to share. Oh, but first, the first thing I wanna share, the first haul I have is, I have an obsession with old sewing machines, vintage sewing machines. And so this is my latest acquisition. Isn't she so pretty? She's pink. I just love her. I. I don't even know if she works. I've had her for like three weeks. I forgot to show her to you guys last time. Um, I hope to use her to zigzag some of my Ada cloth for uh, cross stitch because I have a Juki and it's straight stitch only. I love my Juki. I do quilting on it. I do all my sewing on it, but it doesn't have a zigzag stitch, which is fine. But you know, this was an excuse to buy this, but she's so pretty. She's so pink and pretty. Anyway, so I had to share that with you. Uh, hopefully I will try her out. I just haven't had any time. I've been very busy. Last week I was in Kansas and a little bit of Nebraska doing some traveling for work. Uh, so I was, I was kind of busy. Anyway, let's just get on with it, shall we? Okay, so I finished my best friend. Look, I'm so excited. I, it was fun. I love it. Anything with animals, of course, I love it. And I remember telling you guys how I wasn't sure how happy I was with the coverage, especially on the black. But I kept thinking, well, it kind of has an old fashioned look to it since it's not real heavily filled in. Well, Jacob from Modern Embroidery just last week put up a um his last episode he talked about coverage with cross stitch saying how a lot of times uh they didn't have full coverage on vintage pieces and so it's pretty normal to to see that and you know it just kind of depends on what you want so i'm okay with it you should go, I'll link him below. I'll link, link that episode below to go and listen to him. He's so fascinating to listen to talk about. I, I just think he's very informative. So it just is very interesting to listen to him. So I'm going to link him. Go listen to Jacob talk about 
how full to have your stitching. One gal did post, and I, I forgot to write her name down, but she said I she uses three strands on when she does 14 count Ada. This is a 14 count Ada. I use two strands. And she said she always uses three because she's more pleased with it. And I thought, oh, that, that might be something I will try. And I did start a 14 count, and I'll show it to you here in a bit, with three strands, and I do like it. But I'm okay with the not as heavy coverage as well because it does give it an older look. So there's that. So excited to have that. Done. Okay. I also did work on, this is one of my project bags. I'm obsessed with project bags. And this is one I made. Okay, so the next project, these are my whips now that I have going, is it's from Sweetland of Liberty. And it's the American Eagle. That's what I'm working on. And um, I'm doing it on 18 count natural Ada. And it's 93 by 114 stitches. Let me see. I'll just use the bag here. So I did put a little bit more progress into this. I worked on the flag and I, I can't remember last time, but I know I worked on it a little bit up here in this corner. I tried to work on the flag and get a lot, some of that done, but I didn't get it completed and I'm gonna put it away for now. I'm ready to move on to fall stitching because fall is my favorite with all those colors. So, But I love this project and the colors of the floss are gorgeous. They're so pretty. Of course, Blackbird Designs colorways are beautiful, of course. They're just very soft. I'm using called for. Um, some of them are dental arts and some of them are DMC. I mixed whatever I had. So, I, like I said, I'm going to put this project away for now. Love it, but I'm ready to move on to... Um, fall stuff. So, very excited for that. Okay. The next... Okay, so the next thing I have is a new start. Um, this project bag I did not make. Um, I don't think I know who made this project bag, but I love it. I'm sorry. If you get on Etsy, there's so many people that have bags. Okay, so... What I'm doing here is from Kathy Barrick. Love Kathy Barrick. Love everything Kathy Barrick. This is Bearing Gifts. I love this one. I Her dress is so cute. And she's holding that big strawberry and the squirrel. I mean, this just has a fall look to me. I don't know that other people would call this fall. But to me, it has. it's a fall vibe. So I'm counting it as a fall stitch. I can do what I want. Right. Okay. Let's see. Here are the colors. I'm using called for DMC. Yep. They're all the called for DMC colors. Whoops. And here is my start. Oh wait, I want to tell you, oh, where's my other book? Oh, hold on a second. Ah, you get my project book. I keep all my projects in a book. I started doing this and that way I can have all my information right here. Let's see, it's 14 count vintage oat Ada. It's a Zweigart. And I'm using the called for DMC. And, oh, sorry. I'm trying to be organized and always think I am and then I'm not quite. And so here's my start. I got the squirrel done. And I started on the, uh, what is, oh, that's part of her dress. And I'll tell you a little something about this little dish down here that the squirrel is sitting in. It's I made a mistake. The pedestal is not evenly on the dish. So there's an extra stitch. Well, it's supposed to be on this side, but I ended up putting the extra stitch on this side. It's no big deal. But it's not it's not symmetrical <laughs> and I thought it was and so I was stitching it like it was symmetrical and it wasn't so anyway got my squirrel almost done I have a few more little stitches to fill in there and so I'm excited to get over here to the dress um so like I said this is vintage oat 14 count Ada and I, I like it it's so fun 
Can't wait to get to her dress. Okay. Let's keep myself a little organized here. I'll tell you, you, you think you're you're so organized and you get all this stuff ready for a, to film something and you're like, okay, I'm gonna keep it straight. Well, then by the time you're done, you have stuff everywhere. Okay, my next start is Midnight Watch from Blackbird Designs. Ah. Oops, sorry about that. Let me get this, I had this folded because Okay, here it is. Midnight Watch from Blackbird Designs. I've always loved this. And in my last video, I showed you guys that there is a quilt pattern that is very similar to it that I have. Um, I just have to show it to you again because I think it's beautiful. And I think it's cool that there's a cross stitch one and the quilt. And they're similar. So, this is my new start. And... Let's see here. I started this on, it's 14 count vintage taupe, Ada, and it's a Swigart. And let me, I left it in my double hoop. I like double hoops. And there's my start. I've started the border and a little bit of the leaves. I'm loving this, it's fun. Love the colors. I'm using the called for DMC. Let me show you these colors. So pretty they are. Using my clips, if you would like clips, I have those in my Etsy shop. I have floss drops in my Etsy shop. I have scissors in my Etsy shop. Okay, look at these. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at this. This is gonna be gorgeous when it's done. I'm so excited. I'm excited. I'd like to someday make the quilt. I have fabrics to make the quilt, but um, I just haven't gotten to it yet. I can only do so much. I wanna do everything. Here it is again, just so you can get another look at it in case you wanna go get it somewhere. And then here's my start. So fun. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So I, I worked on one more thing for cross stitch. I actually am quite pleased with the amount, since I did a lot of traveling, I'm kind of pleased that I got some done. I was worried I wasn't gonna get hardly anything done, but I, I made some progress. Okay, this is my porch stitch. So after dinner, I go outside, my husband and I go outside and sit with the dog so that the dog can run around and protect his domain. Um, this is called I See Red. And I love it. It's by the Scarlet House. Um, here's my. I put. I got a little few. few I got some stitches into it. I wasn't here a lot, so it was kind of hard. But I. I got some. I got a few stitches in there. And I told you last time that I'm going to change. This is over one. This alphabet right here. And I'm just going to move up some of the motifs that are in here. There's a dog and. Um, some little flowers. I'm I'm dropping the over one because I'm doing it on Ada and I'm not going to try to split those fibers in half. It just won't work. So I'm going to drop it out and then I'm going to also and put motifs and then this other alphabet down here is over one. And I think I'm just going to take it out and, and not have it there. So that that's my plan. So I just keep on working on this. I don't know what I'm going to call it after it's not porch stitching anymore because eventually, you know, it's going to be cold out there. Oh, I have been, I forgot to be showing you guys my scissors. Look at these polka dot ones. Aren't they fun? I like them. Okay. And I am using a week's dye works, which I have more. So I'm gonna have to get that out. It's called baked apple. I like it. I, I wish it had a little bit more variegation in it um, as I was stitching, but it's a pretty red. It's fine. I just kind of thought it would have a little more variegation, but it, it didn't. So that's what I have for my whips. I know it's not a ton. I'm sorry, you guys. I hope it's not boring that I don't have a ton. I did get some haul though. 
And then I have another new start that I'd like to start that I'm going to share with you guys. Okay, so I got some more Weeks Dye Works uh, floss. And so I just thought I'd show you the colors. This is Paris Green. I kind of thought maybe in some Halloween thing this would make a great witch's face. You know, that's a good green. So I have that. And then I got, um, this is called Moon Glow. And it just, it's kind of got a yellow, yellow to a green. I don't know. The sun is so bad coming in here. I just don't know if you can even see that. And then I also got, I got another red. I'm always buying reds. See, this one has a little bit more variegation to it, I think. This is Lancaster red. So it's pretty as well. I do like it. So I picked those up. Well, I ordered them online. And then I also ordered, and I know you guys all have heard of all of these. So this and, the, and I'll tell you the reason I got these. So this is Mary Clayton from Hands Across the Sea. I got this. It's beautiful. The colors in it are so pretty. I love these reproduction samplers that they reproduce um, from original ones. I think that's really neat. This gal was nine years old. So that in itself. I went for the ones for the young girls because I just thought... I thought they were amazing. So this gal was nine, Mary Clayton. Very excited to uh, start that someday. Got a bookmark with it. Love it. Of course, what don't I love? Got that one. And then I got um, Caroline Page, her little red work sampler, and she's age eight. I love that there's history in these two about the girls. Anything that um, they have found about the original stitcher which I think is really fun so I got I got Carolyn Page Caroline Page 1832 she was eight now this next one I, I know you guys have all heard of her Rosa Sugars from 1881 she was four are you kidding me four like I can't even do that good of a job like mapping out my own thing I don't know I remember maybe she had some help I don't know but I haven't read the history yet on here to see, but I was so excited. I just think it's, I just got these because of their age. I thought they were amazing. So I had to have those. And then I've been slowly trying to collect all the Hawkrun Hollow charts. And the one I got this last couple weeks was uh, Christmas at Hawkrun Hollow, which I don't think it's real popular, but I think it's really fun. Look at this, the ice skating rink. And the peacock is kind of fun. I wouldn't mind starting this one soon. I like this one says Happy New Year on it with the sailboat. So I got that. Oh, and then this one is called uh, Quake. It's from Quaker. It's called Quaker Fantasies by Ari TM. And it's Peter Pan version. But it's so fun. I ordered the Cinderella one, but she was out of stock. So I'm going to have to go back and look for that one. And there's a Mary Poppins one, and I want the Mary Poppins one. Look at the, look at there's the alligator with the clock in his mouth. I mean, that's so fun. And here's all the Lost Boys. I love Peter Pan. And the, you know, the hook. From, and here's Peter Pan's feet and Wendy's feet. So I, I love it. Got that one. And then I got a Prairie Schooler one. I don't have very many Prairie Schooler ones, but I'm slowly collecting some of them. This one's called Santa Rides. But look at the Santa Rides. This is so cute. This would make great little ornaments. It's Santa on different uh, modes of transportation, basically. I mean, the hot air balloon, the train. I love this one over here with the pine trees in the background. And on a, a sailboat. It's so cute. Love that one. Okay, so I got that. Now, so the next thing I wanna share with you is a, a plan that I wanna to add to my rotation. I don't know if I really have a rotation. I just kind of pick up and work on what I want. I want to do, so my friend Yvonne, she heard that I was doing the, um, let me move this out of here. The other Blackbird design, what is it called? Um, midnight watch she's like oh I'm gonna get mine out and work on it too with you and I'm like great that's awesome let's do that 
So she's going to be working on that. And then she said, oh, we should also work on Olga's stocking. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I pulled this out and collected all the DMC colors, which I have all collected here. I think I had, I added a couple weeks dye works in here that I might play with, but I haven't gotten them. I mean, I'm not ready. You can see I'm not all the way ready, but here's my flosses. And then I think I'm going to use, um, this is 16 count Ada ivory. And I think that's what I'm going to use for, uh, for Olga's autumn stocking because she said let's start that one and I'm like okay let's do she I think she has a little bit of a start on hers already um, which is okay I'm slow so I have it in one of my project bags that has the deer all over it huh cute I'm telling you put the animals in it I'm there so I'm, you know, I have my ring ready and I make, sometimes I have floss drop, nicer floss drops. Sometimes I just use cardstock and do this number and write the number on here. So I kind of, so I just need to get that going and get it ready. So that's a plan that I'd like to start in the next couple weeks. Okay. I don't have much to share with you for wool. Um, sometimes I do, but I, you know, I can only do so much. So I brought a previous finish up from my sewing room to share with you, made out of wool. And this is a pattern from Lake View, Lake View Primitives. It's made out of wool. It's called Spade Wool Pin Cushion. And look at this kitty. Isn't it cute? I've made a couple of these. I gave my mom one for Christmas one year. She has a couple of cats. I don't have any cats. My family's allergic. Um, and so this is the one I made. It's so cute. I love it. And I've glued it to a candle, an old candlestick. And then when it sits in my sewing room, it sits on this big spool, like so. It was fun to make. It was easy. I mean, relatively easy. Wool's easy to work with, you guys. If, if you are even remotely considering doing something with wool, do it. It's easy, it's fun, it's, you can't mess it up. It's stuffed pretty hard too. So that's Lakeview Primitives called Spade. And there's the kitty. So cute. Love it. Okay. So that's what I have for wool. I'm kind of moving along fast today. It's Labor Day. I don't think I said that. So this is floss tube number six. It's September 6, 2021. And today is Labor Day. And I, my mom's coming over. We're going to cook out a few things. Uh, my husband and one of my sons is working, but they'll be home this afternoon. Okay, um, I do have a couple little wool slash quilting haul items that I thought I would share. This is a pattern called Farm Life, and it's from Farmhouse Threads. And it has quilting pieces in it, and then it has a bunch of applique pieces in it, but I'm going to applique those out of wool. Um, I, I saw this made up in a quilt shop in Oberlin, Kansas this last week. And hers was absolutely gorgeous. So, and I've had this pattern for a while actually, but I saw hers and I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna pull this out and show you guys. So it's not a new haul, but it's old. But I, I wanted to talk about it because hers was so pretty. In person, it was just so much prettier than it was in, in the pattern. And I just think doing these in wool will be so fun. And then the other one, I got is from Timeless Traditions and it's called Silent Night. And again, it has um, patchwork piecing, looks like um, log cabin blocks. And then all in here is a bunch of applique and I want to do it all in wool. I don't know if the original was done in wool. Let's see. Yep, the original was done in wool as well. So this would be so cute made up. Look at there's a skier here. Um, or Santa with some animals, of course. Sledder with some animals and there's a little angel. So those are two that I think are very fun that I thought you would enjoy seeing. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a previous finish. I don't have the original pattern. I 
don't know what happened to it. So, but I know what it's called. It's called Mishmash, and it's from the company called So Be It. And um, I made this. I mean, I've made this quite a while ago, but it's kind of got a fall look feel to it. So I thought I would share it. Here it is. It's made with topes. And the backing has a kind of a homespun on the back. This is like one of the coziest quilts I have. I don't know why. It's, it's a combination of the backing because the backing is like woven. And it's just kind of, it's so soft. And then the fabrics. I'm sorry, it's not, it's really hard to show this, but you guys get an idea. So if you're looking for the quilt though, it's called So Be It, and I did see it on, an Etsy shop had it. It's called Mishmash So Be It. I will, uh, I'll put the name down below in case anybody's interested in trying to find that. And then last week, or not last week, last video, I, one of my plans or goals was to quilt this green quilt that I had. And I, I got it done, I got it quilted. So it's fun. I just meandered it on my Juki. And there's an orange on the back. It's fun. It smells good, because I washed it. So I'm happy to have that done. I, I was having some problems with my Juki, and I don't know, I'm really bad. I ha I've had that machine for probably six or seven years, and I've not, I've never had it serviced. I mean, I oil it, I clean it out all the time. I'm nice to it, but I have not taken it in because I don't want to be without it. But I think I'm going to have to do something about that. Okay. Um, I do have another little quilting haul that I thought I'd share. And this is a kit with the pattern from Elizabeth Hartman. And this is the Fancy Fox. Her patterns are all so fun. She has the coolest patterns. So there's the pattern. And then um, my kit is more fallish colors. So all my fox are gonna be all these oranges and reds. And then the, the background is this Tweety um, Essex from Robert Kaufman. It's a kind of a woven linen type thing. So that's the background. And these are all the colors on my fox pattern again. So I think that'll be fun for kind of a fall. I like orange a lot. There's like some melony and some red in here. So pretty. So I got that. I, it's, I'm not going to make it anytime soon, but, but I collected it soon. <laughs> I'm telling you though, if you don't collect things you see that you like, you miss out, especially for quilting because fabric Fabric goes away. Well, these are solids, so that's all good, but fabric goes away and you don't see it again. Very rarely anyway. Okay, so that was a haul. Um, I do have another haul. Oh, let me grab this. So at one of the quilt shops I was at this last week in, um, well, this shop was in Nebraska, Cozad, Nebraska, Nebraska, Prairie Point Junction. Love her shop. She has wool and she has um, cottons. But I picked up these and I know some of y'all have seen some of these. I'm going to show these to you. So this one is stamps and there's, they have this stamp. I'm going to make, of course, I'm going to make project bags out of these. They had stamps in all different colors and they had a multicolored one, but I, I liked this kind of turquoisey, greeny blue color. So I got that. I got, remember when we used to weave um, gum wrappers together? <laughs> I thought that would make a fun project bag because I don't have enough project bags. I'm all about the project bags, you guys. Let's see, and I, and I know, I think Brenda the Serial Starter had a project that somebody did had a project bag made out of this fabulous print like oh this is so fun 
so fun. So I'm excited to have make a bag out of this. I know, I, I think it's so cool. And then the other piece I got from the same collection is this. It's like, it's like old advertisements. I mean, there's stamps and there's um, some old pictures on it, actually. Some old black and white pictures. I just think it's really fun. Here's the other side of that. So hopefully I'll be making some pro more project bags. And I have one more piece. I picked up a Lori Holt, her new stitch piece um, that just came out recently, actually. So it looks like cross stitch on here. Well, this, you know, has the look of cross stitch. So I thought that would make fun project bags too. Okay, so that is another little haul. And then, so plans. Okay, here's a couple plans I have. I Project bags, obviously. And I just thought I'd show you. This is my stack of project bags that I have been working on this past couple weeks. Man, that's so bright in here. I'm gonna start filming way earlier than I have been. Uh, so I have these all stacked up, pre-cut, kind of ready to go. I need some vinyl. Um, I just haven't gone to get it. I just haven't had time. And and I'm also waiting on some zippers that I ordered. So I did finally get that order placed. So I need to get those finished up. And then I have, I probably have about I counted them the other night. There's about 40 quilt tops that I have that need to be quilted. And so you guys have really inspired me and I tr I've been trying to, thumbnail. I've been trying to um, pull these out. You guys encourage me to get something done. So hope I'm hoping to quilt a quilt at least once a month. Hopefully two, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this pattern is sunflowers, very fallish. This is so fun. Um, it's by Primitive Pieces by Linda. The pattern is still available on her website. Matter of fact, when you pull up patterns, it's the first pattern that comes up on her patterns. It's called um, Anti Beans Stocks is what it's called. And this is fun to collect fabrics for. It was fun to sew. Uh, I'll link her below in case you're interested in obtaining this pattern if you are a quilter or if you just collect patterns because <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm just a collector. So I'm hoping to get this quilted over the next couple weeks. I'm hoping my sewing machine is gonna straighten out and not have a problem. Otherwise, it's not gonna be good. This is my back. This is like a brushed, uh, brushed cotton. It's very soft and looks real pretty with it. So those are my plans. Okay, thank you everyone for joining me. Um, please like and subscribe. Really appreciate that. Comment. Um, I don't know, let me know. <laughs> Isn't fall everyone's favorite time of year? It's mine. If it's not your favorite time of year, let us know what your favorite time of year is. I like Christmas too, but as soon as Christmas is over, I'm ready for winter to be done. I'm, I'm done, I'm over it. Um, thanks for joining me. And I guess I don't have anything else to say. I feel like I'm forgetting something big. I, I, let me look at my notes. I guess not. Thanks for joining me and everyone be kind to each other and be kind to yourself. Uh, it's a rough world we live in, but we can make it better. Thanks guys. Bye.